of a name for himself in Variety. And if Variety is the spice of life, who better to entertain us than a great young comedian, Tom Pepper is here. Great to be with you on 321, especially this week with the theme being magic. Of course, where I come from, Liverpool, we've got thousands of magicians. There's not a night goes past without a car disappears. <laughs> one of them places. Yeah, yeah. Liverpool, strange place. I mean, it's one of the few places left in the country where you can open your bedroom window of a morning, take a breath of fresh air, look down and watch your milk getting dipped. <laughs> Of course, there's always been... Our family's always sort of been connected with magic. My sister, she's got a touch of magic. She goes in the disco, the lads disappear. <laughs> so, I mean, a mate of mine, he's a magician. He went in the garage the other day, filled up with petrol and took off without paying. The police nicked him, they got him into court. The judge gave him six months jail and three free wine glasses. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I went in to see him the other day. I said, how's it going, pal? How's the act coming along? He said, great, I've got this new act. See, for when I come out of jail and I've got a killer for the ending. I said, what happens? He said, well, I'm going to get Samantha Fox, take all her clothes off, I'm going to put it in this trunk. Then I'm going to take all my clothes off and get in with her. We're going to stay there for a week. I said, that's not magic. He said, it will be if I get away with it. <laughs> I said, thank you. Of course, coming from Liverpool, basically you have to be a magician to live. Knock on our door the other day, my dad opened it. Fella said, Everest, double glazing. My dad said, we've got it. He said, uh, how long have you had it? Oh, my dad said, about three years now, son. He said, well, that's what I've come to see you about. You've not made a payment yet, have you? <laughs> my dad said, well, you said it'd pay for itself in 12 months. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the most special kinds of magic is the, the birth of a child. Mate's wife went to the doctors. It was confirmed she was having twins. And she said, doctor, I'd like the children to come up properly. I'd like them to have a good sense of dress, well-educated, polite, well-mannered, all the things a child can have given the chance. He said, you didn't look, love. He said, I've got this new cream from Japan. Rub it on twice a day. He said, when the twins are born, it'll all be there. It'll all be natural. They'll be the style. They'll be so polite, well-mannered. Everything will be dead right. She said, oh, thank you, doctor. She took the cream home every night religiously, twice a day in the evening, went on and on. Nine months, no twins. She kept on with the cream. Ten months, no twins. Twelve months, she's out here. No twins, and the cream's going up. <laughs> 15 months now, she's starting to panic. She's rubbing the cream on. 18 months, the doctors thought, well, we better have a look. So they opened it up, and there's two little lads inside, one saying, after you? He said, no, 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 after you. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been a smashing audience. Talking of magic, it's time I disappeared. Bye. <laughs>